Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel finally. I'm so happy I'm back. It's been a couple of weeks since I've published on this page. I tried recording, I wasn't having it. It didn't turn out the, like the way I wanted it to be. I just felt like caca. I felt like I was in a rut. And then I came across this song and this beautiful singer named Lizzo. And uh, the song is called uh, Hella, no, wait a second. Wait a second, let me look. Good as Hell, uh, which is a feel-good song, and it's what I needed, and it inspired me, the video inspired me, so I recreated the look. So if you are interested in learning how to complete this look, well, keep on watching. FYI, it's really easy, so you should all stick around. Okay, so before we start, I just want to advise you that this look is extremely easy, but uh, I fell in love with the song in the video, so why not recreate it, okay? And for those of you who have been watching me for years and years and years, I'm bringing back the beat diva. So make sure to comment down below if you know what I'm saying. Um, so what I'm going to do next is just um, take a fluffy brush, a blending brush, take Beaches and Cream from Makeup Geek, and just apply that a tiny bit into the crease just to create a little bit of depth. So just back and forth. And right now I would say like I'm at my lightest. I did went a little bit overboard with the bronzer today, but you know, I am admitting it and working it. And today I'm testing out a new foundation. I'm testing out the Pro Glow Foundation from L'Oreal Paris. So I might do a video about that. But as for now, I'm loving it. So this look is very, very green, so I'm busting out my green eyeshadows, which are lovely. I It's been like, probably like a couple of years since I've used green. I think so, I'm not too sure. But I'm going to start on the inner corner. So what I'm gonna do is use an eyeshadow called, actually there's three eyeshadows that I'm gonna use and they're all from MAC. So over here we have Overgrown, Sweet and Punchy, rated R. As you can see, they're practically the same freaking colors. Uh, as for overgrown, it's a little bit more matte. Make sure to remove the excess. There's a lot on there and apply that, I would say, like on the one third of the inner eye. So actually, screw the inner third. I went like half of the lid straight up. After I'm going to take, oh, hello. Right after I'm going to take another color. This time around, I'm going to use Lime from MAC. I'll apply that right where we've applied, like right in between of the colors. So because this look is so simple, just make sure you kind of take time to blend and everything like that. A little bit of Sassy Grass from MAC. The same old brush, I'm just packing on the color. So what I do is I have the eyeshadow and I'm just rubbing the brush in here. Removing the excess is key because you're gonna have like dirty under eyes. So pushing that on the outer third of the lid. Yeah, this will be lovely. Okay, so the colors are laid down. Next, I am going to take a fluffy brush. I'm using the same fluffy brush I've used before. And I'm just going to gently, and I mean gently, right on the edges of those colors, just start to blend in circular motions. I don't wanna go like too much into a wiper, windshield wiper motion, because it might be a little bit too muddy. So I'm just taking my time. Rotate it, girl, rotate it. So little by little, just blend up the colors. So as you are looking straight at someone, you do see the colors still when your eyes are open. So with the lime color, I'm just going a little bit over the dark color. I do want a dark color there, but not like as intense as this. I want like more of a apple green color. For the lower lash line, we're gonna do the exact same thing. So the same color placement. I'm going to start off with this lime color. As for the darker green, I'm going to apply that as close to the lash line as possible, mostly on the outer corners. After that you've done that, you can go ahead and apply your lashes and or mascara. I'm going to be applying lashes because you know me, I need them. So we are all done with the eyes. Next I'm going to move on to the blush and I'm going to use this peachy um, color from the Kate 
contour or sculpting palette in the number three. I'm not going to use a contour because obviously it's too dark, but I really, really like this blush. I'm using just a angled blush brush and I'm just going to apply that right on the cheeks. And I'm actually going to try the highlight, which I haven't. I don't think I did. As for the lips, they are very, very glossy, nothing too crazy. And I would say she had like a peachy, rosy color to the lips. Once again, the video is tinted. It's hard to see. It's not super clear. So what I'm gonna do is use a mixture of the Melanie Mills Lip Radiance in the color Pop My Core and a little bit of Love in Gloss from Lancome, and the shade is in 302. I actually forgot to use a little bit of brow highlights. I'm going to take that same um, contour kit palette and just apply that right underneath the brow. I'm going to apply that a little bit to the inner corner on top of the yellow, which should make it pop a little bit more. Yes! There we have it! This is super colorful. This was really easy, but like I told you, like I felt caca for the past weeks. And I've tried recording and I wasn't having it. And I basically heard the song while I was having dinner with a girlfriend. Her boyfriend texted it to her and we listened to the song and I fell in love with it. Then I saw the video clip and then I was like, oh my god. So this look is what Lizzo wore. Um, from, I would say like most part of the video, very, like I said, very easy, but it is very summery, very fresh, very refreshing. It reminds me of one of the first looks I've ever done on my YouTube channel, like way, like years back. But, um, it's pretty. Hopefully you enjoyed. Let me know if you like Lizzo in the song, because everybody needs a little Lizzo in their life. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed. I will see you guys very soon. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up or subscribe. And uh, we can always chit chat on my social media. Everything will be listed down below. I love you. See you guys soon. Bye.